Welcome to the Women's National League Wrap for Series 13. I'm joined with Alana and Shauna this week. Um, I'm going to start off with Sligo's 1-0 win over Wexford at the showgrounds. Um, Emma Doherty scored the all-important goal for Sligo and, you know, definitely, certainly it's a goal of the season contender. Um, I suppose, Alana, you know, major credit, though, has to go to Amy Matten in the Sligo goals. You know, she kept them in the game for most of the game. And, I mean, certainly at the end when she scored the penalty, when she saved the penalty. Definitely, yeah. And she's getting a lot of praise, I think, on social media, and rightly so, because, you know, she had it all to do, really, when Kristen got injured to come into that team and step up to the plate, and she's done it, and she's been brilliant. She's three clean sheets now in the last three games, two wins and a draw in that as well. So it just proves that, you know, um, even though she is so young, that, as you say, she has stepped up to the American. You know, a lot of those saves were... You know, I think it was 12 was the number or something, but a lot of them were crucial as well. Like there was one from Conlon there kind of early enough in the game and a few from Kira Roster even before the Kylie Murphy penalty save. So yeah, she was brilliant. So uh, well-deserved player of the match and um, team of the week place too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, in Talca, Park, Shells and Galway, they played out the 1-1 draw. Um, Shauna, the first half, you know, Shells were very dominant. I thought they were kind of all over Galway in a sense. Um, Galway didn't really have they couldn't really do much um, but then you know second half Galway really kind of turned on the gears and they got the draw Yeah I think it was a tactical masterclass by Alan Murphy he um, he started off the game with five the back and four midfield and the, the, the plan was just to really limit uh, shells to chances and going in at half time you know either nil all or, or one nil down just meant that they were still in the game and um, Came out in the second half, changed tactics a little bit. I think got Chloe Singleton closer to Jenna Slattery and pushed Julianne a little higher as well. So, um, you know, I have to commend uh, Sarah Shanoonan on a, a brilliant piece of individual skill for her goal. But, um, yeah, I think in terms of the second half, it was pretty much uh, all Galway. They were very, very good um, in terms of how they kind of defended against Shells. They were organised discipline I'm sure Alan will be very proud of them um, in terms of the performance sorry the defensive performance that they that they uh, that they showed and then um, I think in terms of the goal they worked really really hard uh, I have to also give a shout out to Tr- Tr- Therese Keneally she was fantastic um, I thought she'd done the running of four or five people I had cramp watching her from the gantry um, <laughs> She was just excellent. So, yeah, I think it was one all was a fair result and two very good goals. Yeah. And as I said, you know, some skill from Saoirse Noonan to get her shot into the, the near post. And of course, Jenna Slattery's goal, again, definitely has to be a goal of the season contender. It was such a, the way she struck it as well was was perfect. Um, you know, Dan Turner's cross, Piment got their much needed win against Cork City. Um, Anya Gorman, Sive Doyle, Taro Hanlon made it into Team of the Week. Um, Alana in particular, I think that kind of link up play between Anya Gorman and Sive Doyle was really key in getting them that win. Yeah, we're going for a third goal as a contender in the in the in the one match here. But uh, yeah, the, the Sive Doyle chip was something else. And um, even I, when I saw, because I actually I caught the highlights of that one, and I just saw uh, it was class. But Anya getting the hat trick, as you say, as well. So they linked up well and. I think uh, they bounced back from, you know, they were going through a bit of a dry patch there. I said it last week, I reckon they were going to come back with a bang and prove us all wrong. <laughs> they tend to kind of like doing that. But uh, yeah, a great performance from them, from them and they'll be looking to bring that forward now into Sligo this weekend. What I thought was interesting was, though, um, obviously Danny Murphy's first game in charge, his post-match comments were very interesting. If you get a chance, check out the interview because, you know, he was saying how, he was kind of surprised they were giving up the ball too easy and he said they were hard to watch and they need to work harder. That's his own words there in the post-match cop, uh, press conference. So uh, 3D next week for Cork, I think uh, that'll be a crucial one for both of them. Yeah, I think that's going to be a smashing fixture next week, especially for those two. I mean, like previously it was 4 nil to Cork, but I think 3D have kind of, especially in their game, uh, just gone. I think they've really improved. Um. But Athlone, they beat Bohemians 2-1 uh, in Athlone Town Stadium. Quite a tight game, kind of unfortunate, I think, for Bowes coming off that massive win against Piment. Um, And in this game, they kind of had a good few chances as well to get on top. But, you know, it only took Athlone two minutes to get two goals. 
Um, and they held out, obviously, you know, Emily Corbett and Roshi Malloy getting them goals. Um, you know, Bows next week, they play Dior Waves, Shauna. Um, what do you think they kind of need to do a little bit differently? Just from watching them at the weekend, just go back to basics. Uh, yeah. the, the two goals, the first one, I think, the corner, um, they're not really getting tight enough to, to their opposite numbers. And then a few players get caught ball watching. So it's just going back to kind of basics, you know, knowing where your marker is being touched tight. Um, and I think also the second goal, there has to just be more kind of um, want to defend in your 18 yard box you know you have to be willing to put your body on the line and get to the ball very quickly like there was a penalty missed in the first half uh, by Atlone as well so um, I thought Roisin Malloy was fantastic Emily Corbett as well and I think they're going to be up against uh, it again this weekend DLR are really going to try and get that kind of two wins on the track because they've, they've had a bit of an inconsistent few weeks so I'm sure they'll want to end on a, on a bit of a high. Um, I thought they were very good at the, the weekend. Again, they're, they're kind of racking up the goals. So Bowes just can't afford to go into that game and, and defend, you know, in a lax manner. So if, if it was me, I'd be watching DLR, trying to, to look at my absent number. Um, and as I said, just get, get back to basics, uh, touch tie, getting close to the ball and just, you know, ensuring that you're doing everything you can to stop you know, Rachel Kelly having to make wonder saves. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of DLR, they beat Trudy 4-0. Um, you know, I think Trudy started the game quite well. You know, they've had a, they had a good few chances actually to go ahead and we're probably kind of disappointed going into the into the break 1-0 down. But it like it does show how uh, much the Trudy side are kind of improving as the games go on this season, Lana. It does, Emma, as well. And like that's what makes this weekend's match all the more important, I guess, because um, they'll be really looking to put it up to court this weekend and kind of build on that result against DLR. Just to say as well, um, I thought it was brilliant to see Mia Dodd back from the injury. You know, we were all kind of worried for her um, a while back. But yeah, to come back and get the goal as well, I thought it showed a lot of how much it kind of meant to her. And uh, yeah, I thought DLR overall were very impressive. And so they'll be uh, looking to go in all guns blazing against Bowles, as Shauna was saying there. Yeah, and you know the waves they really were impressive in that game. Um, was there any player or players that kind of impressed you the most? I thought um Avril Burley's goals um in particular, and then Rachel Doyle's assist uh, <laughs> for I can't remember which one it was for probably the fifth her fifth goal of the season because she got the fifth and sixth in that game. But yeah, I thought uh, the two of them were quite impressive for Dilo or anyways. Yeah, well that's brilliant. Uh, thanks, Mill, for joining me, guys, and I'll speak to you about very soon. <laughs>